Maniappa and his workforce are busy irrigating their fields to sow paddy in a couple of days. As the groundwater level has been steadily falling due to severe water crisis in the village, his locally made old pump set, serviced multiple times, is giving only a weak stream of water, much below their requirements, resulting in heavy load on the pump. What does Maniappa do? He wants to continue growing sugarcane and paddy as these crops can fetch a better demand in the market and an attractive minimum support price or MSP from the government. In the hope of getting a better agriculture yield, he invests in a new submersible pump which can pump water from deeper levels. Maniappa is not an isolated case. Studies indicate that there are more than 30 million pump sets in India with about 0.5 million new pump sets being added every year. Electricity consumption in the agriculture sector is estimated to double by 2026 to 2027. Deep drilling of groundwater along with the climate change phenomena is leading to unprecedented water shortage besides an increase in energy demand for pumping. About 60% of India's districts face groundwater overexploitation and severe water quality issues. Free or subsidized and unaccounted electricity together with inefficient pump sets increases the consumption of electricity and water and raises the subsidy burden on state governments accounting to nearly 650,000 million rupees every year. Quality and reliability of supply, especially in the irrigation season, are also getting affected. So what is the solution to this problem? We should have a multi-pronged strategy. Efficiency in pumping, efficient use of water and improvements in farming and irrigation practices through the adoption of micro-irrigation techniques such as drip irrigation and sprinklers etc. can help save both electricity and water. This assumes importance especially in water-stressed parts of the country. Utility-led agriculture demand site management programs can play a big role in this. A study conducted by Terry for Bescom, an electricity utility in Karnataka, a state with the second largest arid region in India, has shown a considerable potential to reduce its electricity consumption through agriculture DSM. This is important for the utility as more than 26% of electricity supplied by Bescom is consumed by agriculture. The study found that most of the pump sets are submersible with efficiency ranging from 20% to 40% and have been rewound multiple times. Also, the majority of farmers use locally manufactured inefficient pumps as their purchase decision is significantly influenced by local dealers. According to estimates of Terry, there is an overall energy saving potential of 17% to 21% in the agriculture sector through the promotion of energy efficient pump sets and best operating practices. Other measures such as encouraging farmers to choose a less water intensive and diverse range of crops, direct benefit transfer mechanism can also help the cause. Along with DSM practices, it is crucial to tap solar energy to fulfill the pumping needs, bringing additional income to farmers and reducing distribution system losses. Agriculture DSM can thus help to reduce the burden of subsidy on state governments, promote efficient use of groundwater, increase agricultural productivity and protect farm incomes. We need a coordinated effort among different departments to achieve success. This could go a long way in addressing issues of the energy, water, food nexus in promoting environmental sustainability.